we're at Mobile World Congress and we anticipated that there would be a lot of AI here today and it has been off the charts. Absolutely amazing year. Uh, we were here last year and generative AI and some early discussions of AI just started, but now it is an amazing uh, response by the industry to step up to these new capabilities and AI is everywhere, it really is everywhere. I think the most exciting part of AI is we don't know where this is going. We know where it could go and we have some early views, but some of the use cases we've seen, some of the exciting applications are absolutely setting new expectations for what a, what a phone can do and what AI can do for us to really improve our lives. So the future of AI is going to be a future over decades. We're building capabilities right now. We're creating the memory bandwidth, the storage capabilities, we, the, the NPUs that are required to, uh, to do AI, but it's really going to be over the next months, years, and even a decade that this builds out into something that we may not even recognize today because it's so integrated and becomes so capable. The word I like to use is today my phone is indispensable. I, I wouldn't leave home without it. It's going to be incredible in the future. One of the things that's very clear is that most of the data that's used in AI, and AI is all about data, comes from the edge. So it makes a lot of sense that we need to build out the capability to process, analyze, understand, and use that data at the edge. The technologies that we're developing today and in our, on our roadmap will really help accelerate that capability. We just can't process such a massive amount of data in the data centers and transmit it over the existing networks. So we're excited about bringing edge AI capabilities up, and we'll do that through higher performance, higher bandwidth, and lower power. I think one of the exciting things about Micron's role is this is really gonna be a new era for Micron. Micron's been important for generations, but our story is just beginning again. The amount of memory and storage required to do AI and Micron's role in that is being, be going to become more visible to users as it enables these capabilities. Our memory, our storage, our, our on-device capabilities will really help enable that message. The opportunity for memory and storage at the edge is really just beginning. Um, I believe that up until recently, as a design consideration, memory and storage were viewed as necessary and very minimized to the capabilities of those workloads. But we really need to future-proof phones. We really need to anticipate new capabilities. And so memory and storage are now becoming one of the first design considerations in any new phone. There's a lot of technical challenges in bringing edge AI capability. One of the biggest that we are we're taking on as an industry is the size of models. Mo bigger models perform better, bigger models require more capacity, and that capacity has to be uh, available at ever lower power. So those are really the two big design considerations, bringing the compute per watt down, the picojoules per bit down, and, uh, and enabling new levels of performance, but within fixed power budgets. The reception here at Mobile World Congress has been amazing. As we've told our story, um, I've had a few funny moments where my customers and our partners are telling me the data. They, they, they understand the role of, of memory. Um, I've, I've heard it said, this is going to be good for Micron. The capabilities that are required at the edge are require more memory and storage. Our customers know that and they're really working and partnering with us well.